Um, scramming is a, a thing that was developed in New York in the early 70s. Yeah, there were so many cats in New York City. When I got there after my travels and just settled down there, the whole city was just running with cats everywhere. Cats on the streets and the bins it would uh, come into an area and we'd put some meats um, down and uh, you get a bunch of cats in there and they're all lapping and, and eating their dinners and uh, you run through and, and they all scram and run off. So I've got my meat here and there's to set up a scram you need to attract the cats, the local cats, to the area. So then I just get a little bit of meat. Have a look at that. Some over here. I actually have a very good flinging arm, I do practice. It's good to put your whole hip into it when you're flinging the cat meat. And try and get up to that. But because it's um, concrete it won't be able to, but it'll make a lovely photo. I could have one camera set here. I could have one here. It would give me a little bit more depth. Have a pocket full of treats like this and just liberal. Throw the treats around. One moment they're having a little uh, fossick or a lick or a uh, or trying to get up to some meat and then the next minute they're just running <laughs> getting out of there. Imagine this the whole there's like 15 cats here and I'm just running through. It's very exhilarating. Sometimes I just put some on the ground in New York and one of my cats escaped and uh, I found him and he made his way into Warhol's place and in the middle of a scram and I walked in and Warhol had all these, these women there and cameras and cats everywhere. He put out a lot of meat. There was meat and licking and lapping and they were cleaning themselves and they just ran into the room and the cats went bananas and they started scramming everywhere and um, running up the, the window sheets, I mean the, the hanging blind. Alright, I can tell you one thing, this is definitely the signature of a, uh, of a scatterer. There's been some forced, some kind of forced scram here. There's been caps tied up, I think. They've come out here and they've just made this pile. Have the caps tied up and then they'll run into this area and the cats will be trying to get away and falling all over themselves along this, this pile of rubbish. Probably cut them a little pause here on this edge. A scatterer will do things like this to, to trick a poor cat. A cat would be looking at this seat from here and would just think it's a normal seat and be going and it would fall in there. There's a nail. That could hurt it. This is not good. I'm going to turn this upside down so the cat understands.